to fully participate in the global economy, West Africa and indeed Ghana must overcome obstacles to trade within the region and with the rest of the world. The Foundation for Female Photojournalists, FFP, sought to understand the problems Ghana faces within West Africa as well as the critical issues that limit Ghana as a transit route for goods. Exporting can be big business but when exporters have to pay bribes and see their exports held up due to checkpoints resulting in loss of profit, they cannot expand, hire more people or pay higher salaries. To deliver export goods from the shores of Ghana to other countries requires the diligence of the customs, the police, immigration, more importantly, the political will of these institutions. Customs is one of the major revenue collecting agencies that we were established as far back as 1839. We are responsible for the collection of all the indirect taxes. Some of these are in the form of import duties, import VAT, import excise, petroleum taxes and other levies. Travelling with some truck drivers on the Tema Wagadugu Road Transport Corridor revealed the many bribes extorted from truck drivers and in some cases inspection of cargo documents at the various checkpoints delays when truck drivers refuse to pay bribes. Ironically, bribes are demanded from cargo drivers whose travelling cargo and truck documents are up to date. There are various stops on the way. The customs stops and the police stops as well. As some of these stops, they are delayed because at times difficulties that they have with custom officers or the police. At every checkpoint, the police and the customs collect one Ghana cities. This happens from Bunsu Junction, Kubiasi, to Kumasi, Kudia, Ofensu, Techiman. Yape, Savlubu, Bolga, and even Nabrongo. Depending on who you meet at the border, when you plead, the officer will let you go without paying one Ghana cities. Others will delay you and insist that you pay. Documents, Sell documents, you, documents, you. So for us, I also Whether your documents are good or not, the police and the customs collect monies that are not receipted. If you refuse to pay, your documents will be seized for hours. To avoid these hours of delay, you pay two to five Ghana cities. Initially, the customs and the police collect one Ghana city. Now they are collecting two to five Ghana cities. When you refuse to pay, you will be delayed three to four hours. The challenges in Burkina Faso mm, are limited. There are three checkpoints from Waga to Bobo. Customs collect thousand sefa, which is not receipted. However, Mali is the worst of all. If you enter one room, you can pay as much as 30,000 sefa. In situations where the truck drivers are accused of improper documentation by the police, the police compromise with the truck drivers to pay higher bribes to be spared of the offense instead of the law taking its course. Drivers who are always being stopped by policemen on the road should also be bold. You see, don't offer anything to somebody for nothing. Even if you, are, you, you feel that you have gone wrong, let the law take its course. I think by so doing, this will prevent policemen from taking money from drivers, as is being alleged. The general public should feel confident enough in the police service, the police administration, report any bad not or any conduct that they deem it unprofessional. To the police service and that is why we have the pips they are there at the police headquarters and they deal with such cases so anybody who is a victim of this nature or of this sort 
you please feel free to walk straight to the police station and make official report and I can assure you the regional command or the police administration will not sit down on consent. Those issues will be addressed and those bad not will be brought to book accordingly. If I were on the road and then you come in for no reason, I take money from you which I shouldn't do anyway, you should be able to report me to the next senior person who I know will not want to sit down and close an eye on that. Delays, bribery and corruption result in track owners losing contracts, customers and inability to invest in good vehicles. As a result, Ghana is becoming an unattractive transit route for cargo owners to transport their goods since Ghana is competing with other transit routes to export goods to neighboring countries. In some cases, as spent on the road resulting in damaging of frozen cargoes which lead to huge sums of revenue loss. The delays that we normally encounter has an impact on how we also fix our rates to all the various destinations because our rates takes into account the number of days that we spend in getting to these destinations. So the longer we take, the more we also charge for delivery of cargoes to Burkina Faso and Mali. So the delays eventually affects the cost of doing business in the sub-region and eventually it affects the, price, the cost price of goods in all the countries uh, within the uh, Burkina Faso and Mali and uh, generally affects trade. Unfortunately, high costs and inefficiencies create an opportunity for criminals to smuggle goods across borders which destroys legitimate businesses and other opportunities and deprive the state of tax revenues. Surveys conducted by some civil society groups and trade organizations such as the West Africa Trade Hub continue to expose massive wrongdoings and crimes that are being perpetrated by official dom against truck drivers. In 2003, ECOWAS, with financial and technical support provided by its development partners, initiated the West Africa Road Transport and Transit Facilitation Program to liberalize and facilitate transit movements through Ghana and its neighboring countries in the sub-region. The objective of the program was to reduce transport costs lower consumer prices as well as reduce poverty and thereby increasing competition among Ghana and its West African neighbors. The relationship within ECOWAS countries is, is getting better. However, if Mali is part of ECOWAS, then its residents should be advised because that is where the officers worry transit drivers a lot. However, six years on illegitimate non fiscal road transport barriers still exist despite the existence of the many regional conventions and decisions meant to facilitate transportation. Nevertheless, the squeezing of illegal payments from drivers to facilitate the so called smooth processing of necessary travel documents continues. What the FFP found out was that delays and bribery on the Tamawagadugu Road Transport Corridor are serious obstacles to economic growth in West Africa and they must stop. <laughs> Thank you.